Hey everybody, Tony George, DocSports.com, a Tuesday update here, UFC update, NASCAR update, and of course, uh, day 57 of the lockdown here in Las Vegas. I did manage to shave, but I got a beat up t-shirt on. Uh, Mrs. George has decided to dig out every tote of every photo album and photo that we have thinking the heat's going to destroy them in the garage, reorganize them and then stack them in a closet in one of the bedrooms here. So going through some nostalgia, I thought I'd share something with you. This is old school and I'm aging myself, but look at that. That is me at the ripe age of 17 years old at the Playboy Club. I had a black key, Playboy Club key, Omaha, Nebraska, age 17, in a drinking establishment where the age was 19, and I had a fake ID even back in the day. Nonetheless, a lot of good memories running up there and hanging out, and can't tell you any of them here. This is family entertainment, but nonetheless, uh, always nice to go through nostalgia and and uh, just realize how old you are or how ridiculous you used to look, how you used to wear your hair, how you dressed. Hello! Uh, nonetheless, but uh, enjoying a little bit of a trip down memory road today. And short-term memory, if you joined me on Saturday, you caged out with a seven-unit banger and a winning UFC 249 card. And on Wednesday night, 11 fights, firing back up again, UFC from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, live UFC fight night, I think that's on ESPN or ESPN Plus. Uh, I haven't really looked. Uh, headliner is uh, Anthony Smith versus Glover Texaria uh, for the light heavyweight uh, fight. That is the uh, featured bout on an 11 fight card. Um, been talking with my UFC handicappers that I use to formulate my opinions, my team, so to speak, and uh, tasty underdogs seem to be the theme with the with these guys and myself. Um, so we're gonna have uh, a nice card for you. It'll be out tomorrow morning at eight thirty a.m. Pacific, right there at DocSports.com. So we'll have that out for you this upcoming Sunday. Darlington Speedway, NASCAR fires back up. They're having a race on Sunday at Darlington and then turn around on Wednesday and having a race in Charlotte and then turn around on the following Sunday and having another race at Charlotte. I believe it's the Coke 600 if I'm not mistaken. Hello. That's right, three NASCAR races in seven days, plus around eight grand last year for a $100 player, the number one NASCAR handicapper at Doc Sports interviewed my friend in uh, NASCAR, JJ Yaley, right here on this YouTube page. Check it out. Scroll around, you'll find it. Uh, just on Daily Picks, just hit that button and slide them back. You'll see an interview. He talks about Darlington, talks about NASCAR and how they're going to handle it. And they are going to get in the rest of the 32 races. They've only ran four. And bear in mind, this upcoming weekend, we'll have a top play on the card. And the last three races, six or seven unit picks, each race, three races in a row, bang, bang, bang the book. Three top plays in a row. We'll make it four this Sunday for you. Coming off a nice top play, seven unit winner this past weekend with uh, the female fight with Esparza over Watterson. So uh, another good one here, uh, card for you tomorrow. Be looking forward to that. A quick update, uh, Major League Baseball discussing July. I haven't seen the final draft. Looks like they're going to end up doing two locations, a house and everybody there, maybe three, Texas, Florida and Arizona, but Florida and Arizona will definitely be in the mix. Haven't heard anything out of the NHL or WNBA at all. And as I told you earlier, I have a hell of a guy in the WNBA we're bringing on this year. 
forming one of the best uh, dynamic duos in handicapping when it comes to WNBA. We'll have a write-up for you and uh, a draft analysis from the WNBA up later this week. Um, from him, we'll put it on Doc's site. I'll send you links to it to give you the depth of uh, the talent I brought on board for WNBA this year. So I sure hope that kicks off for you. Um, in Major League Baseball, I would assume they're talking like 80 games. We'll see. Um, there's been some good news from the COVID-19 uh News front, I guess. I, I guess, you know, you look at the state of Georgia who opened up two weeks ago and full scale. And the infection rate, the death rate, the hospitalization rate has declined the entire time. That's good news. Hope that follows suit as some states are lifting restrictions. Um, people are getting a little itchy for sports. You've got, let's see, uh, exactly one month from today, the PGA starts. Now, we were going to handicap the PGA right there this year on head-to-head -head matchups like we do in NASCAR on rounds. And we were planning on starting a couple weeks before the Masters, and then all this crap hit. Um, so uh, we will be firing up. I'm not for sure on the opening tournament. I'd like to. But a lot of these players, you know, you get this deep in the season, you've got some stats to work with. and Pretty much the stats you've got to work with, you can pitch out the window. You know how much these guys have been practicing, so on and so forth. So, you know, I know a lot of guys, they interview on Golf Channel, are getting in a lot of rounds at their local courses, that and the other. But that's not on a set-up PGA course with competition and, and uh, travel worries, family worries, a lot of stuff on your mind. Not in the groove, so to speak. Not in the mindset of getting ready to getting ready to play competitive golf. So there's going to be some uh, things I'm going to be looking at over the next 30 days on that. NBA still talking about doing some semblance of a round robin deal here in Las Vegas with 16 teams, those left standing, the eight left standing in the East and the West. It's what I've heard. Um, nothing confirmed there. But what is confirmed is profit in UFC and in NASCAR. Don't need to tell you about our prowess in NASCAR. Right there at DocSports.com, we'll give you a free 60 bucks if you've never been a member. That means you get your fight card for free. And a lot of you jumped on board this past Saturday. I appreciate your uh, enthusiasm. I appreciate your support. Glad we could get a big winning card for you. Nailed down a big seven-unit banger. Ooh, that was a little close for comfort. That could have went either way. Wow. But uh, that's one thing about UFC. One swing, one dropped arm on the guard, one smack, and you're done. So, uh, none or they can go the distance, and it's just tied all the way. But uh, exciting stuff, and uh, more stuff coming down the pipe. But don't forget about that free 60 bucks. Click that link in the description below. And get ready for some UFC. I'll have an update for you tomorrow. And why not? I'll give you a free pick in the UFC fight night on Wednesday. Hump day. Profits coming your way right here from Tony George and DocSports.com. I hope you guys are hanging in there. I uh, hope your families and yourself are safe and sound. You know, use those cautions. Be safe. But let's start living life and start betting some sports big time.